Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to split the data in logistic regression analysis in Rapid Micro. Basically, we carry out logistic regression when we are having a dependent variable which is in categorical scale. The example is rural, urban, male, female, purchasers, non purchasers. So, here we are having one dependent variable, many independent variables, and we want to divide the data set into train and test. Moreover, our independent variables will be running in the continuous scale. Let us see how we can do this in rapid mind. First of all, I'll bring the data set which is having a categorical dependent variable. And for this, I'll take hard data set, I'll connect it, I'll run the process. You can see here it is having age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood sugar, blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, maximum HR, exercise, old peak, ST slope, and the heart disease. The variable which is the dependent one, which is categorical, is a heart disease, which we will consider. We will again go in design, and I will activate the operator, select attributes. So I want to select only those variables which are matter of my interest. Keep the operator on, subset it, select it. So I'll select age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old peak, resting blood pressure. And gender. Upload. Next operator is set the rule. I will specify the heart disease is a target variable and it should be labeled. Next is I want to split the data into training and testing data. To split the data, Double click on it, it will ask me that in what proportion you want to, to make 0.7, 70% for training, 30% for testing. You can change it and you can make this as suffered sampling. Now, the next thing which you have to do is bring the logistic regression operator. There are three types of logistic regression, SVM, evolutionary or the basic one. Use the basic one. Now select the threshold from here. Why we are using threshold? Because we want to specify that what is the proportion of the category in the target variable. Yes, no, how much you want to keep it 50 50 or 60 40 that way. So when you will select create threshold, it will ask that what is the proportion which you want to give. So the for first class, which is yes, the heart disease, yes or no, or the second class, no. So it depends upon the researcher how much he wants to specify and how much he wants to give the weight to the first class, 50% or 60%. That is basically a chances of occurrence of the event which you want to specify. Now, I will go in, apply the model. I'll drop it here. Now, the testing data will enter here. I'll break this spline. And I'll connect model to model. Next thing which I should do is apply the threshold. Now this I'll keep label to example out to threshold. Now I'll activate the performance of it from here. Make sure classification is selected.
example to label then performance to result example to result and model to result and press the play button you can see all the variables which are significant have been identified you can see the performance uh, also 96 and 107 they are truly classified cases classification accuracy is 73.82 percent now you will see here that the samples have been reduced because here only testing data set uh, output is given only test now when you are in apply example set apply threshold here in this window this is the original data and this is a prediction which has been done by algorithm now you can see here no no it means that the classification has been done correctly by the algorithm and what was a confidence here the algorithm confidence was 58.5 percent higher you consider here 92.9 percent no no well, quite clear but here there is a misclassification which has been done actually the disease was there but the prediction says actually the disease was not there the prediction was it is there so this is a misclassified cases and this gives me the confidence for yes the heart disease was there and this gives me the confidence for no you can go in performance vector also and you can see here okay in description you will get the confusion matrix moreover in result history you can get the results in this format also a summary chart for more videos on rapid minor kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter you can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded the previous videos of Rapid Mind. So, thank you.